what's the toughest seller? If we looked at occupations, which one's going to be the toughest to work with? It's going to be the engineer. Now, do you know why? They're analytical. And in the world of behavior profiling, and a lot of you have been through a lot of behavior testing, the opposite personality from analytical is what we call expressive. Now, in this room, if we were to do a poll, okay, 80% of you in the room are expressive personalities. That means you have great people skills. You can walk into a room and talk to a total stranger, and, and, um, and you're friendly and you're outgoing. You fly by the seat of your pants. Um, you call the bank or, you know, or, or close out the account to how much money you have left in it. Uh, you know. And so you're the opposite of the analytical personality. And see, the analytical personality, let me explain to you how to work with them, because they are easy to work with when you understand how they think. See, we, because we're just very friendly and outgoing and we sell, buy, you know, sell houses all the time for a living, we think that we can just walk into a total stranger's house, sit down and say, so, Mr. Mrs. Seller, just so you know, before I even arrived at your home today, I took the liberty of doing some research, looked online, found out what homes were selling for, and so um, this is the price that your home should be at. Now think about someone who's thinking analytical. Does that make any sense that before you arrived at their home, you could have come up with all that information? It really doesn't. And, and actually, because of that, the moment you tell them that you already know what their house is worth before you've ever even seen it, you've lost credibility with that seller. See, for the analytical personality, who is very detail-oriented and, and things are done very logically, okay, until you've actually seen their home, you should not be talking about the price of it. So, but if you've, again, done your seller survey in advance, so you've gone through and you've been asking questions on the phone, could be of either of the sellers, if we have more than one, and, and you arrive at the home and say, before we even begin, okay, um, I'd like to just walk through your home. I've got the seller survey here completed that we did on the phone. I've got all the information that, that you gave me ahead of time. But I really need to see your home in order to help you arrive at the right price for your home. And those are always the words that I use to help you arrive at the right price for your home. Then you'll see them just start to naturally relax. And as you're in the room, I mean, look at things. You know, just say to them in each room, point out things that you think are important for me to know. What would you like for a buyer to know? You know, one of the most important things that, um, I, that I feel that we do in getting homes sold is to ask the seller to tell us what their best memories of that home is. And when you stand in certain rooms and you say, what's your best memory in this room? And they say, you know what, we had parties every year at the holidays and the kids would come and we'd have 40 or 50 people here and I gotta tell you, we just love entertaining in this home. And you can just kind of see people light up. And so what's happening is it kind of becomes all about them and we're listening to them. And again, this walk through the home could take 30 to 35 minutes. But by the time you've walked through your home and you've jotted down the additional notes on your seller survey and, and you've reviewed some things on the survey with them as you go through, by the time you sit down at that table with those sellers, they are almost at the point of ready to sign. And so again, it's that human element. It's make sure that, that, um, that, that you've built that trust and that rapport before you ever get around to talking money. And again, I've took them through the whole process. We've walked through the house. I've done research in advance. I've gotten all their feedback. We've sat down. I've eliminated everything that doesn't apply one step at a time. And, and we are down to really six houses that they've picked. So if I say, based on what buyers are paying for homes like yours in the market, that's what this range is here, what will your home sell for? And they'll give you the right price. They'll say, well, actually, it looks like it's going to sell for $235,000. And you just say to them, you're exactly right. That is what your house is going to sell for. 